Wow. I like this. You gotta. Oh. <laughs> Oh, the lashes look so different. I told you. I own a lot of makeup. So when did you start? Like, I started getting into makeup when I was in like eighth grade. And like, my dad would never let me wear makeup though. He definitely was like a, you're not wearing makeup. He wouldn't let me wear like just mascara. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. So for starters, we're going to just start off with her eyebrows using the Anastasia Pomade. I always like to start off at the end of the eyebrow and fill in the tail, then work my way from the middle, and then I pick up a little bit more product and fill in the front. As you're filling in the eyebrow, you're going to want to use the spoolie on the other end of the brush and brush out the eyebrows to really spread out the product throughout the eyebrow. And the next step, you're going to want to use a concealer that's a little bit lighter than your skin tone and you're going to want to underline the eyebrow. This cleans up any product or any mishaps that you had while you were filling in your eyebrow. Next, you're going to use a shade that's pretty much your foundation color and you're going to use this to shape the top part of your brow. This is what's going to help clean up the brow as well and it really shapes it. So after I pretty much blended it in that concealer to the rest of her face, this is how the eyebrows are looking. And then the next step, we're going to be working on her eyeshadow. So you're pretty much going to use that same color that you use to shape underneath your brow to put as a base for the eyeshadow that we're going to be laying down. So to start off on the eyes, I'm using the Anastasia Soft Glam Palette and I'm just using a shade that's going to warm up her crease. And then the next shade that I'm going to be using is going to deepen up the lines and like the V of her actual crease. This goes a little lower than the shade that I put in before and this is pretty much just going to deepen up her eye. This next part is my favorite part. So we're pretty much going to cut that crease, girl. To, in order to cut the crease, you're gonna wanna use like a flat concealer brush and you're gonna wanna shape out where you're gonna put that shimmer shade on her eyes. Then I had pretty much just put some mattifying moisturizer on her face because she said that her skin was oily. And we pretty much finished up the eyes and the rest of her face off camera. In this next step, we're just putting concealer underneath her eyes, on the bridge of her nose, anywhere where we pretty much want to brighten up that area on her face. So this next part, um, wherever you put the concealer, you're going to want to set it. So you're going to want to use a setting powder. The setting powder that I chose to use was the Huda Beauty Powder. I really love this powder. Another good powder that you'll probably like to use is the Fenty and the Stardust Powder. Those are really, really good powders to set with. They give you no flashback, which is very important when, you're wanna, when you want to take photos. So 
So you're going to want to dust off that excess powder and then the next step you're going to go in and bronze or contour or both, whatever you choose to do. Um, for her specifically, she doesn't like like a really harsh makeup look so I had bronzed and I pretty much bronzed against her hairline, the hollows of her cheeks and I used the bronze to contour out her nose. Last but not least, you're going to highlight. So in order to give her a little dimension to her face, you're going to want to go in and highlight the high cheeks and high points of the face, which is most likely like the cheekbones, the bridge of the nose. I like highlighting the top of the lip because I feel like it makes the lips look a little more plumper. And I usually put a little highlight above the brow bone. And this is the final look. I hope you all like it. She ended up loving it. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, leave down a comment. If you have any suggestions or tips, feel free to leave them down below.